I want to welcome you to the 5 p.m. Uh, family Christmas Eve service of Stonehill Church of Princeton. Uh, we're so glad that you've joined us. Uh, my name is Tracy. I'm the senior pastor here at Stonehill, and it's a pleasure to be with you. I must tell you that in the weeks leading up to this uh, service tonight, uh, we've, and we've had all kinds of plans. I feel like we're on plan X. Uh, we've had a number of different ideas for the Christmas Eve service. COVID has changed all that. And I want to uh, thank the, the people of Stonehill Church who in the last week have come together with all kinds of musical offerings, Christmas greetings we're gonna see tonight. Special thanks to, uh, to Becca Gator and to Amelia Ray who worked to coordinate getting all of this together in a very short amount of time. Uh, and, and we're so thankful for their work and so glad that you can see this tonight. I think the way you want to look at this tonight, since we can't be together, what this is tonight is we're going to bring many, many families, many, many Stonehill folks into your living room tonight. It's kind of like we, we all went and caroled at each other's houses. And so you're gonna have people giving Christmas greetings. You're gonna have musicians and families who are gonna lead us in Christmas carols. You're gonna hear bits and pieces of the Christmas story uh, all throughout tonight. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's, it's certainly uh, homemade, but I think you're gonna love it because it's gonna be a chance for us to get together, so to speak, uh, Christmas 2020. So hope you enjoy it. Glad you're on tonight. Uh, uh, hope you enjoy uh, the different aspects of our service tonight. Merry Christmas, Stonehill! For the Johnson family. And as you can see, we've been a little cooped up. So from our house to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> Hi, we're the Zakaris. I'm Pastor Andrew. Miriam. I'm Hannah. I'm Mayla. And I'm Jessica. Merry, Merry Christmas, Hi, Stonehill Church. This is Jen. And Tyson. And our pet heart crab from I just need in. We just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Stonehill. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Stonehill. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year Stonehill Church. Church. Down his sweet head, the stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Merry Christmas! Happy Christmas and Merry New Year. I mean, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Stonehill Church. Or from the Jones family. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Stonehill. Stonehill. Long ago, God chose a group of people called Israel to be his special people. He loved them very much and made many promises to them. But Israel sinned and disobeyed God's instructions and God had to punish them. Over the course of 400 years, God's people would go from top dog to dog food. They had been kicked out of their promised land and their temple was no more. The future looked bleak, especially for the promises of God. Believe it or not, God's promises hadn't gone anywhere. In fact, God kept on making more promises all the time. God promised that the snake crusher, Abraham's child, Judah's lion, David's son, would come from Bethlehem. God promised he would be born of a virgin. God promised a messenger would prepare the way. God promised that the deliverer would die and leave again and be a light to the nations. God promised lots of amazing things. Isaiah 7:14. The Lord himself will give you a sign. 
The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son. He will be called Emmanuel. He will be very young when he decides between right and wrong. Even before then, the lands of the two kings you fear will be ruined. A child will be born unto us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us. He will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called the Father, the Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. There will be no limit to how his authority is. The peace who he brings will never end. He will rule on David's throne, and over his kingdom he will make the kingdom strong and secure. He will rule be based on what is fair and right. It will last forever. The Lord's great love will make sure that happens. He rules all. He rules over all. The prophet Isaiah gave these promises and many more to Israel. But Israel was too busy disobeying God's commands and ignoring God's warnings to notice. God sent many prophets of all kinds to Israel. But it didn't matter which ones he sent or how many, the people never listened. And so one day it happened. God stopped sending the prophets. No more warnings, no more direction, no more word from the Lord. Only silence for 400 years. God had sent prophets, priests, and kings. He started out with Adam, and he started over with Noah. He chose Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. He gave Moses the law. He sent Israel judges. He raised up deliverers. He conquered enemies. He provided sacrifice. He lived among his people in a tent and in a temple. God gave them every opportunity, 10,000 chances. But still sin and the serpent seemed to be winning until all of a sudden they lost.
Hello everyone, this is Edith Juarez and you. Tonight we want to uh, share with you what our favorite um, uh, family Christmas tradition is. Okay, so my favorite family tradition is setting up the tree and putting the lights around the tree and putting the thingy that goes around the tree. So we love decorating the tree, the Christmas tree, uh, while drinking hot chocolate and listening to Christmas songs. Um, so we haven't put up our tree this year yet, but we will soon. Um, so everyone at Stonehill, we wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Healthy New Year. We are looking forward to 2021. We are so glad that 2020 is coming to an end soon. And... Um, Although it's been a difficult year for everyone, we are thankful that the Lord has been with us and we look forward to 2021. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! So this week, uh, we asked uh, families to uh, put a present in a box, wrap it up, and get it to the office. And uh, what I was planning to do is to open the present on camera. I don't know what's in here. Open up the present, see what's in it, and come up with a object lesson for Christmas. So this first gift is from the Achenbach family. And uh, the Achenbach family, you know, the, 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 that's a large family, right? So there's Fred and Elma, mom and dad, and then there's Zechariah, Nathaniel, Caleb, Chloe, Elizabeth, Josiah, and Elijah. And I'm not sure which one of these are to blame if I can't figure out what this present is, but at least they've been named tonight. Let me open up the present from the Achenbach. See if I can come up with that 
Christmas object lesson. It's always exciting to open up a present. Mine. All right, so this is, uh, it looks like some kind of a minivan, like a Hot Wheels minivan. That's interesting. And then, I can't, <laughs> I don't know if this is a six or a nine. I'm gonna call it a nine. Uh, a nine here, it's kind of a wax nine. It looks like a, a candle. You can light a candle there uh, with uh, the number nine there. So a Hot Wheels car and a number nine candle. Very interesting choices. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't think the Occam box necessarily need to go to family counseling, but uh, you know, it might not be a bad idea. Uh, well, interesting, interesting these two things. So one of the things about this minivan that reminds me of Christmas uh, is obviously the minivan, of course, the, 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 the Occam box have to, they, they have to have a bus, all right, to take their whole family around. So they could get so many members of the family, but in a minivan, uh, is, is a vehicle that's used to take a family together. And I think it reminds me of one of the purposes of Christmas. Jesus Christ came, yes, he was came and he was born. He was the son of God, fully God and fully man. He came to be born so that he could die in our place to take our sin upon him. And certainly he provides the basis for individual salvation. But I think it's, it's also true that his Salvation that he provides on the cross was to bring a family of believers together, is to believe all kinds of people together to form this corporate body of believers we call the church. And so when I see this minivan that, 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 that takes the Achenbachs or other families around, when I think of Jesus, I think he not just came to, to save me from my sin, he came to save us. And together, at Stonehill Church and all believers in all churches have come together to be part of the body of Christ. He came not to save us individually, but he came to save us together in his body. And the beautiful thing about the, the, the church of Jesus Christ is that while we, uh, we've had difficulty meeting together over the last 10 months because of COVID, and we know that over time, because of sin, death is an experience we will all face. We know that for those of us who are part of the body of we will be with Christ forever in the next life. And we will be able to catch up on all the time that we thought we had lost through death and through being separated uh, because we're part of the family of God, a family not only for today, but forever. This number nine, I don't know about this number nine, but um, I'm staying with the minivan, the family of God. It's one of the purposes for Jesus coming at Christmas. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was the governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to a firstborn son. She wrapped him in swan cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
everyone. My name is Ricardo Alvarado, one of the elders at Stonehill Church, and this is my wife, Anna. We want to thank our church for the many blessings they have given us during this year. We also want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas with your families and pray that the Lord showers you with his blessings during this season of rejoicing and celebration for our Savior's birth. Yo soy Ana Delia Alvarado, esposa de Ricardo. Queremos darle las gracias a nuestra iglesia por la gran bendición que han sido para con nosotros. Le pedimos a nuestro Señor que los llene del gozo de celebrar el nacimiento de Jesucristo. Los amamos y le deseamos Una feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas, Stonehill Church! Hi, as we come to the end of a difficult year, we think of the words of Isaiah. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light, for to us a child is born. So we say with the Apostle Paul, may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace. Whatever situation you found yourselves in this year, we really hope that your holiday season is blessed. Merry Christmas from the Johnsons. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. The Acosta family want to wish you una feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Y un prospero año nuevo. A very happy Christmas from from our family family to yours. yours. Merry Quarantine Christmas, Stonehill Church. We miss you and we love you. And we'll see you again soon. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. 
When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with, with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known to the, the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But, but Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Hill. I've got another present uh, to open up. This is from N Nellie, Corey, and Augie Funk, whose parents are Kellen and Annabeth Funk. Uh, but we'll see what they decided to give me and surprise me with. It's a smaller present than the earlier one. Oh my. This is a, it's like a little Lego figure. <laughs> And it's a, it's a guy who's got a head as a pizza. He's got a slice of pizza for his head. And uh, he's also got this little sign that says pizza, $1. $1 for a pizza. Looks like $1 also for and a, and a, uh, some french fries there. Looks like some cheese fries, $1. Again, that, that looks like a Lego piece or some kind of a Lego piece or a Lego light piece. 
Very interesting. Um, I, I may put this in my office and uh, keep this for a while. This is, uh, this is very good. Pizza. Pizza, one dollar. French fries, a dollar. How in the world does that relate to Christmas? Well, pizza happens to be one of my favorite foods. I love pizza. When I was growing up as a kid, we lived in Miami, Florida, and we would go to Frankie's Pizza almost every Friday night and order their pepperoni and cheese pizza. Came in square pieces. It's the best pizza in town. And uh, about 30 years after uh, my last pizza that I ate there, I was able to take uh, my youngest son down to Miami to eat at Frankie's Pizza as well. Uh, it's, it's, it's good, it's great. Well, pizza's great. Pizza's a wonderful meal and it does satisfy us to some degree. But when I think about Christmas, I think about Jesus coming to die on the cross being born first and then living the life we should have lived, dying the death we deserve. I realized that Jesus is far more valuable than pizza. In fact, while pizza is great, you can live without pizza, but you can't really live too well in this life and certainly not the next without Jesus. I'm sort of embarrassed to say this, but when I was growing up as a kid, I Sometimes if the present wasn't big enough for me, I would take the present and say, this is too small and throw it aside. Uh, much to the chagrin of my parents who realized <laughs> uh, I, I, I was a little bit of a self-absorbed uh, four-year-old at the time. I wanted the big presents. I wanted uh, the big things at Christmas. And that's what my mind thought about. I can also remember when I was uh, about 12 years old, I remember sneaking out into the uh, living room where our Christmas tree was, and I just opened up the present enough to find out what were sort of the big presents. And so when I got up on Christmas morning, I already knew what I was going to get, or at least some of the bigger presents and some of the best presents were going to be. And it was almost disappointing when I opened up the present because I already knew. Well, this shows me too that things, pizza or presents, or anything else we get, none of it is as good as Jesus. What Jesus Christ does when he came to earth to live the life we should have lived, lived, die the death we deserved, he gives us the full forgiveness of sins. He makes sure that we can have him now, eternal life now, but eternal life forever. And I think one of the things we have to do as believers is to become more mesmerized with this Jesus who laid down his life for all of us. And when we become more mesmerized by what he's done for us, it enables us to live the life we should live now by the power of God's grace. But it also, I think, prepares us to make sure we share this mesmerizing spiritual gift of Jesus that gives us everything. We ought to be sharing that with everyone around us. So may you be mesmerized. Not by pizza, although you can have some pizza if you want. Don't necessarily be mesmerized by your presence, although I hope you enjoy them. We need to be mesmerized with the greatest gift that we could ever be given, which is Jesus Christ, his life, his death, and his resurrection for us.
Christmas, everyone. My name is Freya. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays because it brings people together and because we are celebrating the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We always start our winter with putting up the Christmas tree. It usually takes about an hour and a half to do, but it's really fun. After that, we play Christmas music on the speaker and put up the ornaments. We usually go to see a light show in Pennsylvania with some friends. The place that we go to see the lights have small fireplaces and so we roast marshmallows and have s'mores. Additionally, we like to go caroling with friends. This usually happens in the beginning of December. After church on Christmas Eve, our friends and families get together and exchange gifts. Even our family from India might join. We also end the night with an amazing dinner. On Christmas Day, we go to our regional church and celebrate. Christmas of 2019 was the most memorable because we were able to go to California to celebrate with cousins. All in all, Christmas time is one of my favorite times of the year. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, and you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Please join us in singing Joy to the World.
I am Hal. I'm Helen. I'm Julian. I'm Vivian. Since 2018, we started coming to the Stonehill Church. This year has been a special year for all of us, but we still enjoyed the virtual service every Sunday. We hope 2021 is going to be healthier, stronger, and happier for everyone. We wish everyone a very, very Merry Christmas, Christmas and, and a Happy, Happy New Year! year. Why don't you come out here and do better? Yeah, come here! Merry Christmas, Stonehill family from, from the Gators. Gators. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Stonehill Church. Oh, oh. <laughs> one, one more time. Two. Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Stonehill, Stonehill Church. Church. <laughs> yes, we're gonna say church. Okay, we're gonna one, say two, three. three. Merry Christmas, Stonehill, Stonehill Church. Oh, Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. You stand in splendid beauty. Your branches green in summer's glow, and ever green in winter's snow. Wishing you a tremendous Christmas, Stonehill family! Hey Stonehill, this is uh, Mary McCormick wishing you and all that you love a wonderful blessed Christmas from our family to yours. And we pray that 2021 will be a better year in so many ways. God bless you all. Merry Christmas Stonehill Church. Maligayang Pasko. Merry Christmas Stonehill. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep. I want to thank you all for uh, being with us online for our Chris family Christmas Eve service tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone who gave, sent a video in or provided music or provided a story or a memory. Thank you so much for being part of this. I want to thank a couple of other people. I want to thank the middle school and high school youth group for giving me this hoodie, this uh, Merry Quarantine Christmas, uh, sort of ugly Christmas hoodie. It's great. I'm going to wear it everywhere. Thank you so much. I also want to thank Sean Schools for putting this service together uh, with a limited amount of time for putting all of the videos together. Thank you, Sean, for making this work. As we uh, get ready to conclude our service, I just want to remind all of us, for all of us who have put their faith and confidence in Jesus Christ alone to save us from our sin, that's what Christmas is all about. May we worship this Jesus because of what he's done for us, May we be mesmerized by the grace that Christ has poured out on our lives. And may we take this grace that we have been given by, by God himself, by grace, nothing to do with what we've done, not earned, not deserved. May we take that gift, that grace, and may we share that with everyone around us so that they can come to know Jesus as we have. Merry Christmas, Stonehill. Happy New Year. Let's sing together as we wrap up our service. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Ryan and Denise Mannheimer and Lil Emmett are gonna lead us in singing this hymn as we close. Again, Merry Christmas. Have a great evening. Joyful nations rise.
Sing. 